Now, the, to the company planning to build Europe's largest battery factory in northern Italy. The first phase of the new plant isn't scheduled for completion until 2024, but it has ambitions to employ 4,000 workers supplying the electric vehicle industry. Well, joining me now is the founder and chief executive of Ital Volt, Car Lars Karlstrom. Lars, very good morning to you. Why have you chosen this particular location? Good morning, good morning. Well, uh, this site is uh, uh, very amazing in a way because the historical site is the former site of the Olivetti uh, and it once was a very prosperous area of, of northern Italy um, which actually accommodate up to 5,000 workers. We are now able to uh, replicate this and restoring this uh, this uh, society and bring it back to uh, to where it, where it once was and uh, giving uh, the opportunity for for uh, new jobs and also adding on supply chain, which can add on another eight to ten thousand jobs easily, and that's actually an opportunity that uh, the new the new uh, green industrialization gives us, and uh, uh, that's something that also uh, President uh, 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 President Draghi now have uh, announced actually with the recovery fund, and will give an amazing opportunity for for Italy to be a, one, so again, a prospering economy. I foresee in the next uh, seven, eight years that we are uh, seeing Italy as one of the leading countries in Europe when it comes to, to, to new green industrialization. And uh, as we have a very skilled workforce in, uh, in Italy, we have many small companies uh, today which are ready to uh, ramp up their, their their uh, uh, production uh, to support a new uh, green supply chain. I Lars, foresee that Lars, we... Yes? Give me an idea of how much this is going to cost to open this factory. Yes, we are. Uh, we are talking about numbers around three and a half billion euros. And uh, uh, this will produce batteries for uh, uh, around 550,000 cars, uh, which is in a, on a market where you actually in Europe today produce 18.6 million cars. Uh, of course, not all of them are electric, but let's say 2030 that we have 60, 70 percent of this car are, are electric, which means that this is a relatively small contribution that we're giving to, to the European market. So therefore, we need to build a lot of these factories. And I foresee also in Italy that we're going to have at least two or three of these factories here in the next five to eight years. Some people would say, hang on, isn't it just cheaper to import car batteries from other parts of the world? Why is it so important that Europe has its own domestic car battery manufacturing facility? Uh, the importance is that we need to address the, the supply chain the, the, and, the, and certify the supply chain. Uh, we cannot firstly transport batteries from far away. They are very heavy and add on more pollution on the environment. Uh, so from that perspective, we need to produce the batteries close to where they are uh, about to be used. And uh, we have a significant car industry in Southern Europe. Uh, also, the supply chain is very unclear uh, in many areas of, for instance, like Asia. And we need to be able to certify uh, the supply chain uh, to make sure it's green. Otherwise, the, these batteries that we are seeing here coming from far away are many times uh, dirty batteries. We need to, we will certify all, all supply chain our production methods and our, all our products that will be used for producing this battery. It's a very important uh, part that something has to be addressed from uh, uh, central government, from European Union, that we are uh, make sure that this is not uh, a dirty battery that we are now, now uh, uh, having in, in, in the cars being produced in Europe. So that, therefore it's yes. essence. Now, you, of course, uh, set up British Vault in this country. You had to step aside from that in December last year after it emerged that you had a tax conviction in Sweden from two decades ago. Do you feel you were unfairly treated? Uh, first of all, it's a 25-year very small offence at the time, which was, uh, uh, well, uh, the advice we had was that we, we shouldn't... Uh, create any more uh, buzz around those things, and I... Uh, had already plans for moving over to Italy. So I think the situation was uh, better for me as to move on and uh, and don't uh, continuing with uh, uh, with the, the, that kind of, uh, what should I say, uh, public uh, dynamics in, in media, uh, which was totally, well, ridiculous in a way. But anyway, 
I, my plan was still to be in Italy, and I continue being in Italy. So it's uh, so it came came very handy. So I actually sold my shares in Bridgewalt, and I have been able to reinvest uh, these funds in Italy, which is uh, oh, it's a very good move. So uh, Britain's loss is Italy's gain, then. Yeah, well, uh, I, I must say that the, the support we have received in, in Italy has been amazingly good. It's a fantastic opportunity. Uh, people are extremely uh, supportive and uh, uh, welcoming this project in, a, in an amazing way, which I couldn't foresee, really. It's, uh, it's a great enthusiasm and the dynamics and the energy that we see in Italy today is uh, beyond my wildest expectations. All right, last cast on. Very good to talk to you this morning. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Thank you. We're still to come here on Ian King Live. We'll be talking about...